Sorry, we're showing the Evo 1300 watt 48 volt power ball today. And this one we're showing today is in the orange, which is quite striking. Um, also, there's in the green, silver, pink, and of course, the standard black, uh, which uh, we're doing the range. Just have a quick whiz around it. Uh, we'll start with the motor. It's got your 1300 watt motor in there. Also, it's uh, run by chain, cock and chain on this one. Uh, and to stop that, we've got the disc brakes at the rear, which work very well, and also the disc brakes at the front. That's a good safety feature for this model because it is very fast. Okay, we've also got adjustable springs there, they can be adjusted depending on terrain. Obviously, this is an off road vehicle, uh, so you have your off road tyres. Very good chunky tyres on there. Also we have lights on there in case you wanted to do off-roading on a dark evening. Also doubles up as a brake light there. And it's LED, which is energy efficient. You've got your one on the front there as well. There you go. Comes with a seat. And the seat is adjustable. You can adjust it from here. This just tightens. You just clip it out of the way, slide this piece up, and then just click it back when you're finished. So that adjusts totally for you. You can take this out. All you have to do is pull that, and now you've got standing power board as well as a seating one. On the deck, we've got nice finished wood. And underneath, we've got the battery, and this comes with the carrier. Just need to pop the carrier, pull it out inside here. You've got your, uh, your control box there, obviously, the electrics in there. Comes with a fuse, safety, so that fuse there will cut out. If need, you unzip, and then from here we've got four 12 volts, so obviously it brings it up to 48 volt. Um, so you obviously got plenty and plenty of juice and power there. That's that one. Just pop this back. There, not nicely. Right, you've got your, your lever here, you pull this down, this will collapse, this whole piece collapse down nicely. Pull it, it scratches down, clicks into place, just lift it, and then you're away. And same again. You got your spring for that for it to collapse down at the front. Again, obviously the chunky tyres, two brakes, as we said with the discs, your ignition, which is worked by the key. There's with two keys. And you've also got a, a battery indicator here. Here I just turn it on. You turn it just once. And that will turn the power on, light up so it's on four or half. Also, just the side of the scooter, you've got the charger port. Just uh, slide that across and uh, pop in the charger. It's a three point, clicks into there. 
obviously charges it. Six to eight hours, and uh, that will charge from flat to full. And obviously, um, less than that if it's uh, not totally flat. And uh, you've got your throttle, which is a half throttle, which is this section here. And you just turn that, just like you would a motorbike. With it being half, obviously, you can hold a certain speed, you don't have to yank it all the way back, and you're actually gripping on one part to hold it a bit firmer. And so uh, it steadies the speed rather than full throttle every time. Also has an energy saving button. Push that in. And that cuts it down from 48 uh, to 36. So obviously reduces the speed and uh, the amount of power that you use. So on long journeys, obviously you just stick it on economy, push it in, and uh, you'll get obviously a lot more miles um, and if you obviously just want to go as fast as you can, you just click it out and you're back to the, the full 48 volts of power. Okay, now you can turn it a second time if you wanted to. And this will give you your lights uh, at the front and also at the back. Just turn that off, and then obviously you've got your brake light as well. You can see that it's in there. Okay. Also at the front, it's a safety feature. You've got foam there just to protect you. nice long stem at the front 22 inch I believe um, so it's perfectly usable for an adult you've got your kickstand which is just here so you just kick that just to park her up there's also some vents on the side there just to give it a bit more decor and a bit of air around there and that's about it and we'll go for a test drive now and uh, just give you some idea of uh, how she goes it's anything up to 55 kilometers and obviously that depends on terrain and weight see the lighter you are and the smoother the surface the more likely you are to hit those sort of speeds. But uh, she does go, go very well. And that's it. Okay, time for the test drive. Oh, <laughs> 